everyone. In this video, we're going to look at Moore's Law. So let's go ahead and jump into the material. Moore's Law was formed by Gordon Moore, who was a co-founder of Intel. And in 1968, he became part of the movement that created the first ever microprocessor. Microprocessors really started the boom in computing and really brought computing down and in, in terms of the size of the circuitry that is required and really started incrementally increasing the power of, of computers that can be built. So it, not only did it lower the cost, but it increased the capability of the machines as well. While working at Intel, Moore noticed a pattern in the growth of computing. So he noticed this repeating pattern and he formulated uh, a law around this. And after a second revision of this law, he predicted that computing power will double every two years. So let's go ahead and look and see how this model has done over time. So here's a chart of the history of the model. And what it really does is it, it he forecasted that the number of transistors on integrated circuit chips would double every two years. And so this would, this would increase uh, exponentially the processing power of machines. So if you look at early in the 1970s, it was around 1,000. And if you start looking at the doubling of the numbers, and overlaid on the plot are the different chips that have been built over the years by various manufacturers such as Intel, uh, Motorola, AMD. And you notice how nicely that this really tracks. There are a few outliers in here, but you really notice that over time that, that the model is held remarkably consistent from, from 1970 all the way through 2018. And you can look at some of the higher end chips here that are being uh, created by manufacturers such as uh, uh, Intel with the Xeon processors, Microsoft with the Xbox processor, IBM, all kinds of different manufacturers and it's remained remarkably consistent how this model has held over time. Now the future of the model maybe is not quite so certain. A lot of people in the industry say that we're, we're pushing the laws of physics and that, that the trend just can't continue but it really has been remarkably accurate over time and it has held true and every time that we think that the model is going to fall apart there's some new innovation that comes along from the chip manufacturers that you know keeps the model back on track so at some point in time this will probably uh, no longer hold but for a remarkably long time Moore's Law has has predicted the growth in terms of processing power and the amount of processing power if you look just back 10 years 20 years and 30 years ago at the capabilities of computer systems and how much smaller and more uh, more feature laden they've become it really has been an amazing journey from from a hardware aspect in the growth of computing so that's really it this is a short and quick video on Moore's law and just a, a way that you can quantify the growth in, in computing power. There are not many industries who can double their performance every two years and have costs continuing to go down for higher performance systems. So that's really it for this lesson. It was a quick summary of Moore's Law. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for this video. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.